Okay, we have a good one here today from the UK Integration B 2024, number 11. We have the integral from zero to infinity, cosine tx over x squared plus b squared dx. Okay, as you can see, they've already set it up and kind of parameterized it for us. They clearly want us to use Feynman's trick, so what I'm gonna do is, I'll write the whole thing as f of t, but I'm actually not gonna differentiate. That was the first thing I tried or the second thing I tried. So instead what I wanna do on this is use Laplace transforms on it and in a different way than what we usually do. Typically we might like to create like an e to the minus st here and try to do it as a Laplace transform this way. In this case, in this case, I'm gonna take this whole thing and throw it inside the Laplace transform. So by the definition of the Laplace transform, I can just write this out. This is gonna be the same thing. I'm trying to keep the variables consistent. We'll write our e to the minus st and then we'll just We'll have e to the minus st, but then let's expand out this whole integral here and write it in here. And now this term right here, this is actually a constant with respect to x. I'm just gonna multiply that in so we can get everything together. And with this thing, what I wanna do, of course, is I wanna swap the order of integration. The reason I'm justified here is clearly we've got no problem with our convergence because the whole numerator is never gonna be greater than one. And so what you have here is really basically the arctan integral which we know is gonna converge. And now at this point, you might see where we're going with it because what we have right here, this part, the numerator is just gonna be an easy Laplace transform, x squared plus b squared, this is all gonna be a constant with respect to t. So we can take this outside of this integral and bring it over here. And then now in order to do this Laplace transform, we just need to be a little bit careful with our variable names. This is usually we don't think of x as a constant, but with respect to t in this situation here, this is just gonna be our constant, the coefficient on the t. So like normally our Laplace transform formula for this, cosine of at, and this would just be s squared plus a squared with s in the numerator. But in our case, the constant's just this x, so this here is gonna become an x squared. So let's just plug this back in here and rewrite it. When I do this, I'm gonna reorder it just to make it look like this one. So we'll have it as x squared plus s squared. And then for this s, I'm actually gonna bring the, the s is a constant, so we'll bring that out front and we're integrating now with respect to x. And then for this thing, we could do partial fractions, but I'm gonna kind of do it on the fly because it's gonna be a simple case. What I'm trying to do is I wanna create the cancellation. So in the denominator, we're just gonna have this same stuff. And so in order to create this cancellation, I'm just gonna kind of copy down each of these and I'll subtract them and you'll see why in a second. We'll write it as x squared plus s squared, so this will cancel and then we'll create an x squared plus b squared here. So now if you subtract that out, what's gonna happen is the x squareds are gonna cancel and you get s squared minus b squared. We don't wanna change it, so let's just divide that off in the denominator. Then let's just take this and split this up into two integrals, breaking it up on the minus sign here. And then I can just cancel x squared plus s squared and x squared plus s squared. Do the same kind of thing over here. Now we just have ones in the numerator and two easy integrals that we can do. Let me just clean up the board and we can integrate these two things. And then from here, we basically have the same exact integral with just a different constant, b and s. So to do this, we just use our arctan formula on it. For this first one, it's gonna be one over b, arctan x over b. And I'll just evaluate these together. Same formula on this one, one over s, arctan x over s. And for all this, we're evaluating from zero to infinity. Now, arctan at zero is just zero. Don't worry about that. Here, these constants don't matter. When we evaluate at infinity, we get pi over two. So putting this together, we're gonna have s, s squared minus b. Evaluating this at infinity, we have pi over two. So let's write this as pi over two b. And for this one, this is gonna be pi over two s. So let's factor, we get pi over two in common. Let's factor that out front, bring that over here. So we'll have our pi over two on this. This thing here becomes, this is just gonna be one over B minus one over S. Let's get a common denominator on it, just getting it where BS is gonna be the denominator. So this is gonna end up being S minus B over BS. So let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. We got pi times S two, S squared minus, sorry, that should be a B squared right there. Let's factor that out, difference of two squares. I can write it as S plus B s minus b and then here on this stuff let's get it all in one fraction so here we'll have s minus b and then we'll have this bs i can cancel this one with this one cancel here and here 
So what we're left with, let me just reorder it a little bit. We're gonna have pi over two B times S plus B. And this is gonna be our value for the Laplace transform of F of T, but we don't want that. We wanna get back to F of T. But now we've got an easy way to get back to our solution F of T. When we have the Laplace transform of F of T, all we need to do on this to reverse it is just take the inverse Laplace on this thing and get our solution as this is just gonna be F of T. Of course, one quick note on this, inverse Laplace transforms can be tricky, and we're lucky this is pretty simple, so we're gonna be able to do it, but in some cases, you probably could get stuck at this point with a difficult inverse Laplace transform. So what we're gonna need on this is we're just gonna need the inverse Laplace transform of pi over 2b s plus b. The pi over 2b is all a constant, so I'm just gonna bring all that stuff outside of the inverse Laplace. And for this, you might recognize the formula if you have something like Laplace of e to the at, this is just gonna be one over s minus a. And so for a value on this right here, this whole thing is just gonna be e to the minus bt. So let's just rewrite this, bring it into the denominator. So for the final solution of this, we just have pi over two b e to the bt, and that's it. Okay, now this solution is pretty nice, but it can get quite a bit nicer if you look at the way the way I've seen this problem before in the past is, instead of going from zero, they have it from minus infinity. And if we just plug in some different values, like if t is one and b is one, now we have this problem right here. But notice this is an even function, so what I could do is turn this lower bound into a zero, bring a two out front. So then using this formula here on this integral, we're gonna have the two out front, b and t are one, so we're gonna end up with just pi, over 2e here, but the twos cancel and the solution for this is just pi over e. So this solution is actually pretty beautiful. I almost wish they didn't parameterize it so I could have done this, but this is still pretty nice. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.